in a cell during prometaphase one kinetochore of sister chromatids is attached to spindle microtubules these sister chromatids are held together by cohesin protein but another kinetochore of the sister chromatids is not attached to a spindle microtubules so this kinetochore is called as unattached kinetochore as all the kinetochores are not attached to the mitotic spindle the spindle assembly checkpoint will be turned on this spindle assembly checkpoint ensures that the anaphase does not begin until all chromosomes are attached to the mitotic spindle when the spindle assembly checkpoint is turned on the unattached kinetochore binds to the proteins like bub r1 bub3 mate2 etc these proteins form a complex mate proteins are activated in this complex and this complex is then released and binds to the cytosolic active cdc20 and forms a mitotic checkpoint complex or mcc due to the binding of bub r1 bub3 mat2 and other proteins the cdc20 in mcc becomes inactive the inactive cdc20 in mcc cannot bind to the inactive anaphase promoting complex or cyclosome as a result the cyclosome remains in an inactivated state so the anaphase cannot begin during metaphase the unattached kinetochore is attached to the spindle microtubules as a result the spindle assembly checkpoint is turned off during this condition the mitotic checkpoint complex or mcc dissociates the cdc20 then binds to the inactive anaphase promoting complex or cyclosome due to this binding the cyclosome becomes active the cyclosome is a multi subunit ubiquitin ligase or e3 ubiquitin ligase the securin separase complex then binds to the active cyclosome securin is the regulatory subunit of separase the active cyclosome then catalyzes the ubiquitination of securin the ubiquitinated securin then goes through 26s proteasome and forms degraded securin this degradation of securin activates the protease separase the activated separase then degrades cohesin protein and produces degraded cohesin the activated separase then separates from the sister chromatids due to cohesin degradation the linkage between sister chromatids breaks as a result the sister chromatids move to opposite poles of spindle as a result the sister chromatids separate the mitotic cdk cyclin complex then binds to the active cyclosome the active cyclosome then catalyzes the ubiquitination of cyclin b the ubiquitinated cyclin b then goes through 26s proteasome and forms degraded mitotic cyclin b this cyclin b degradation inactivates cdk1 due to this cdk1 inactivation the cell cannot exit mitosis and also cannot return to interphase the cdk1 inactivation
triggers chromosome decondensation, reassembly of nuclear envelope, return of microtubules to an interphase state, dephosphorylation of proteins that had been phosphorylated by CDK1 at the beginning of mitosis and cytokinesis. Please like, subscribe and share.